Hello, Coolers. We have just signed Pianich, and we are very, very excited about his arrival to Camp No. He will fit right in to the team because he has a very similar style of play. So here are 10 things that you need to know about our new signing. Starting at number one, he was born on April 2nd, 1990, just three days before our Copa del Rey final in the season 1989-1990, where we actually beat Real Madrid 2-0, thanks to goals from Guillermo Amor and Julio Salinas. He need to start playing football thanks to his father, Faroudin, who is a third division player for the Bosnian club, Drina Zubunik. And when the Bosnian war happened, his father was able to sign a semi-professional contract with Luxembourg, which allowed him, his small son, Pjanic at the time, and his wife to escape the war zones and live in Luxembourg. Pjanic started playing for Luxembourg's youth team, but eventually his entire career he has represented the Bosnian national team. And in fact, he is the third player in the history with the most appearances, 92, and the sixth player with the most amount of goals, which is 15 to his name. Number four, fun fact of the day for you, Kuleris, is that Pjanic actually made his Champions League debut against Barca. It was on the 24th of February of 2009, and at that time, he was actually playing for Lyon. Now, it was a Champions League quarterfinal match. The first leg was played in France, and it ended in a one-all draw, but the second leg was played here at the beautiful Camp Nou, and it ended in a 5-2 victory for Barca. Pjanic has faced Barca seven times, once with Lyon, two times with Roma, and four times with Juventus. Now his balance is one victory, three draws, and three defeats. Six. The midfielder is now the second player in the history of the club to have been born in Bosnia. The first player was Meho Kodron, and he ripped the Blaugrana colors in the 1995-96 season. Number seven, Pjanic has actually played with several Barca players in the past. Before leaving Olympique Lyon in the summer of 2011 to play with Roma, he played several games with a young Samuel Umtiti at that time. And at Roma, he shared the same dressing room with Bojan and Keita. And in his first season at Juventus, he formed part of the first team squad alongside Dani Alves and Neto. Pjanic repped the number 33 on his back when he was playing for his youth side Mets, but then changed it to the number 15. When he went to Lyon, he chose the number 18 for his first season, but eventually had the number eight on his back for the rest of his time in France. And when he landed in Roma, he returned to his famous number 15. And now at Juventus, he has been repping the number five for the past four seasons. Number nine, this is for all those who want to know if Pjanic has kids. Well, on August of 2013, Pjanic's first and only son was born, and his name is Edin. Alongside Leo Messi, as well as Bayern Munich's Serge Gnabry and Scott McTominay, Pjanic also forms part of the cover of the 2020 Pro Evolution soccer game. But last but not least, at number 11, if you want to know all about Pjanic's transfer details, well, here you go. All right, Kuleris, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button right here. I know you want to. And stay tuned for more videos of our new signing, Pianich. Catch you guys next time. Bye.